welcome back to the Pool Pro Podcast. On today's episode, it's all about Hayward's Omnilogic panel. We're doing a deep dive today with Hayward's own Chris Casson and JC Escudero. If you're not viewing on YouTube, go over to the YouTube channel, Pool Pro Podcast, subscribe and watch it there. Thanks for listening and the podcast starts now. All right, so Chris, now tell us about this piece of equipment, the OmniLogic. Yes, our OmniLogic is our bread and butter. That's our, our, our great control system. We brought out, I want to say about six years ago, and this is what separates Hayward from the competitors in the industry, it separates us from Pentair, separates from Jandy. Uh, our competition just came out with one about a year ago, and the other competitor is still in beta trying to create what we've had for six years, and nobody comes close to it. Right. It's a great, great control system. So I've heard that it's really just like a computer. So it's a firmware. It is. Yes, exactly. You're never going to have old software on your Omni. At any given time, you can take a thumb drive, go to the desktop or a, a laptop, look on Hayward website, go to support under Omni Logic, and download the freshest software. Uh, you can take that thumb drive then off and plug it into here and go into configure and do software updating nice. from there. As of about two months ago, all our updates, if you have fresh software, is done wirelessly now. Oh, no so other you don't system, need a thumb drive. No other system can do that in the market today. So now if you have your software updated, it'll, you'll get a notice on your phone saying software upgrade available. Then you go out to your Omni and it says upgrade all, yes and you just upgrade your software. You mentioned phone. So it, it really, there is no remote controls anymore? Or we do, that's a great question. We do okay. have our wall mount control. We do have a spa side control. But the reality is a lot of homeowners are using their cell phones. They don't want to buy that special controller for 500 or a thousand dollars, whatever that price may be by the time the end user pays for it. So why buy a special wall mount or why buy a special spa side that, that may go bad eight to 10 years from now Mm -hmm. When everybody has a phone, they all know how to use their phone or iPad, and everybody in the house can actually have that control device. So that's okay. where it's going towards. Well, why don't you explain a little bit? What, where are we looking at? Where is the control? What are the components? So the key thing with the Omni is a plug and play relay system. It'll always come with the four relays. One, two, three, four. And we serpentine our relays. And everybody goes, well, why don't you do it like the old fashioned way? Left to right, four. Left to right. Eight, uh, five, six, seven, eight. We do that purposely so you can plug in one single relay, and that'll be a, oh. a five. Another single relay for a six. And then sometimes you might have a massive job. You buy a, a relay smart bank. You can plug this in, pop the ribbon cable in, and you go from a four to an eight. Mm -hmm. Or you go, you know what, the homeowner's just added landscaping onto me in the last second. Oh, you know what? Go buy a single relay and plug it in. You're now at a nine. There's not a single cleaner out or uh, automation system out there that can do that. I see. So you can go from four all the way up to ten. This is the main brain, the MSP screen, and there's uh, an expansion slot board up top here. What, what, that, what does that do? Yeah, that actually adds four more actuators. You have four actuators already. Oh, one, two, that's, three, and okay. four. So if you wanted to add four actuators for five, six, seven, and eight, there's four low voltage sensors four actuators and four more extra sensors. So how many actuators total you can have on this unit? This would be eight on this box right now. Okay. So if you had a reason to go 9, 10, 11, and 12, you would get a second sub panel if need be. Mm -hmm. But we really don't see that. But people go, wow, why do I need five or six actuators? Well, it adds up pretty quick. You got your pool return, pool and spa, that's right. two. Maybe you have a deep heat. Mm -hmm. You turn on deep heat and heat from the bottom, an actuator. Maybe you have solar, that's four. Maybe you want to divert water return to a bubblers and uh, to the pool return or to shears. That's five. So and have, the waterfalls, all the waterfalls, water features. A water slide. That's six and seven. So that adds up very quickly. If that came up, you purchase this expansion slot, slide it in, and now it goes. Hey, I have a smart device here. I can now do four more actuators, four more low voltage sensors, four more regular sensors. Correct. That's what's good there. And I see you have a big bulk here for a lot of breakers. It is a lot of breakers. It's a 220 amp sub panel. If you uh, run out of room, for example, why would we run out of room? We can do up to 16 Hayward variable speed pumps. 
on one control system without using one single relay. So how do you plug them? How are you connect That's a lot them? of power. That's a, you're gonna have a whole sub panel right. providing power, 20 amp breakers okay. to that. So you would have a separate pa uh, sub panel. And you can use just uh, another electrical box, doesn't it? Exactly, be? yeah, just so. just a housing box. Is any any UL listed market, you know, that it's approved for outdoor exactly. application. Exactly, yeah. That sounds exactly. good. So, and in addition to some of those parts, we have an antenna. If you are going Wi-Fi, you would get the antenna, plug it into here, and hook up wirelessly. So it is Wi-Fi, everything. Absolutely. You can always skip that and take an Ethernet cord and plug it right into here, and now you're wired up Ethernet. We prefer hardwired, but sometimes you go to backyards and you can't get Ethernet out there. Correct. So you're not jackhammering the whole house and getting uh, Ethernet. If that's the case, you can buy an antenna, and this will sync up wirelessly. And there's always extenders that people can get now yeah, yeah. with technology. Now, some of our comp uh, competition, you have to go in the, uh, plug in a modem into their router, and that modem will now talk to the system out in the backyard. Ours is just Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. It's just straight Wi-Fi, picks up a wide range. We were in the backyard a month ago, and we were hooking up this lady's Wi-Fi, and she picks up a local Olive Garden. Okay. And she's like, that Olive Garden's a mile and a half away. I'm like, well, hey. <laughs> You know their password. That's pretty powerful. <laughs> so it searches all the range around there. So right. that's antenna. Like I said, we have devices that you can mount in mm -hmm. the house, wall mount remote if need be. Um, and this is also salt ready. We have a transformer here. Right. It is salt ready to where you uh, buy the plumbing kit and a salt cell, like a T cell 940 or a T cell 925, and then you plug it right here. Correct. And you're good to go. Salt. And that's the same plug that you see in all the other panels Absolutely. of the of the Hayward line everything all our salt cells have that cell cord in there correct so and moving forward with the Omni and our new Aquarite s3 coming out and our T, uh, Aquarite s340 cell you will now be able to operate your salt system at a 1200 parts per million salinity level oh wow so that's coming out very shortly that will be awesome yeah. for a lot of people because they cannot control them they have this range of salt going all over the place right you have that exotic stone travertine marble or any uh exquisite uh, stone out there you don't want salt 35 yeah. 4000 ppm salt exactly so you have the opportunity to go down to 1200. so now let me ask you a question how do you plug the heater and how many heaters can you capable Absolutely. of, of wiring so up here we have low voltage sensors. We have an LV1 heater, LV2 right. heater. That's just your standard two wire communication. You take the two wire off of like our heater mm -hmm. or a two wire remote off of anybody's heater, wire it into the LV connection right on this board. This is very similar to all the sensors you plug into. And you can also do them in tandem. If you want to, yes. Hey Chris, we got another question. How about now, there's many pools that are very, very large. So they need either multiple heat sources or they want various heaters at the same time going on how do we control how we plug them absolutely that's a great question uh, we have a unique system where we can have a heat pump wired in with a two volt uh, two wire communication we have a gas heater you have solar heating on the uh, roof so what we would do is program those into low voltage connections on here in the omni we'd say hey low voltage one for example is our priority heater number one gas Mm -hmm. Priority number two is going to be heat pump, and priority three will be solar. So you can go into the programming and always pick your priority heating source. And if you want to do all three, you can do all three at the same time. But uh, you have that option. Uh, and if you want to talk about I mean, three or four gas heaters in line, you would Correct. daisy chain those gas heaters from one to the other to the another to another. Uh, they would have to probably be plumbed in parallel, separate, so you're not right. funneling heat, heat water. Correct. But if all the uh, plumbing is correct, wire that into a two-strand wire for the LV1 heater, for example, and be good. Yeah. And then prioritize that in your app. The homeowner would say, hey, I always want to have a priority number one being maybe the free solar heat. Priority number two would be propane heat or gas heat. And then number three would be uh, heat pump. Correct. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. What else we have here that... On the system, we actually have our chem sense and dispense system. Okay. This is our module system. Once again, you mount this on the side and you plug it in to here. There's a chem sense uh, bus bar. You plug that in. It's another smart component. It recognizes, hey, I have a sense and dispense system. And that also helps on the installation because that mounts into it. You don't need another wall or Absolutely. another post Absolutely. to grab that into it. Yeah. In the 
uh, programming when you're starting up this system, it will ask you, do you have a salt system? Well, yes, I do. I have this salt cell. And then it says, do you have a chem sense and dispense system? Yes, I do. Okay, what relay is your acid pump, which is down right, right next to mm -hmm. you there, what relay is that on? We say, we want to put this to relay number four, for example. And then it says, okay, what's your pH level? What do you want as a pH? 7.4. Okay, so I have my pH locked in at 7.4. I got my acid container. I got my chlorine uh, salt system producing. Mm -hmm. Your pH will be dead set perfect at 7.4. So now, a lot of, a lot of uh, guys out there have these animations, but they have the older versions. So they don't have this yet. Uh, how they go about all this technology that it's catching up? Yeah. So and how do you renew that, okay. or is that there's something that they can do? And so when you reduce. say older, you're looking at like a ProLogic, exactly all the gold line list, that, that exactly yeah. that everybody has. You know, there there's you know many there's many like of them installed thousand, all over the country. Exactly. So how do you go about all those? Now? Yeah, we're making a rebuild kit or upgrade. I should say upgrade kit to where you have the uh, board with an MSP control box with a built-in antenna and a new dead front. Okay. So the internals come out of that old ProLogic, Aqua Plus, Aqua Logic, and then your new components go in with a new dead front to go on the, the box, and then you're up to the Omni. Here. And it will work the same way with the relays that are existing. Absolutely. Same okay. exact way. It same turns. breakers and yeah. same relays. Yeah. That's, that's its, huge. It is. And that's in its final stage of beta testing as we speak. So we're looking to launch that very soon. And this is one of the reasons why we wanted to invite you guys here is to explain and talk about all these new products that really came out in this, you know, right after this pandemic. Yeah. And having, you know, the, uh, the new heater, having this new Omni, mm -hmm. uh, the new version and the uh, the salt cell. Can you talk about the salt cell too? Yeah, the T-cell 340s. Uh, that is a salt cell coming out, that, like I said earlier, that it's gonna be optimal to use at 1200 ppm of salt level. Mm -hmm. You don't have to have the 3200, or 3400. You can go down all the way down to 1200 ppm. Mm -hmm. Now you may not get the 1.48 or pound and a half of chlorine production a day mm -hmm. at 1200 ppms, but you can definitely have that salinity lowered and have a less of a chlorine output. That will help you a lot. Exactly. Help the hormone at the exactly. end and materials. It is. So the huge question I have for you is also the lighting. Yes. Light, everybody wants color lights. Everybody wants more light shows. Everybody wants to control the lights. Uh, uh, some, some, of the, some of the guys out there like to put uh, a lot of lights and some don't. So there's always, you know, a balance that can take. The Hayward, how does it control these lights and all the new features that the lights have? Can you tell Absolutely. us how that works? And that's what really separates us from competition is our lighting. So for example, we have everything from a half inch conduit, the size of a dime, to an inch and a half lights, to our pool lights, to our spa lights. And all those lights are omnidirect capable. Mm -hmm. And what we call omnidirect capable is it now has the option to go to 20 separate colors six or seven shows, blends, speed of the show, the brightness, you can dim the lights, you can brighten the lights up. You may have a cave grotto that's too bright. Well, you know what, let me go into my Omni and dim it down a little. Or that Voodoo Lounge show that we all like, or the Tranquility Blues show that with its crazy uh, colors. You know, right. that's too fast, let me slow that show, uh, color, show color. The, yeah. Color show it down. Exactly. So. Along with the OmniDirect, actually I can demonstrate right here, is I can go into my pool lights. Let me go to lights, right. pool. We have new light technology to where we don't hit that transformer on the wall. Right. 14 or 20, 20 times, thump, 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 thump. It just tells you, 15 seconds of white light. That's yeah, how wait. all they start exactly. when you light them up. Exactly. The old-fashioned lights would hit that transformer and thump it every time that relay and get on, on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off. Right. Now we just wait 15 seconds, and as we can see now, that's Tranquility Blue. Okay. So that's that's one of the big things about OmniDirect. Also, we can do the uh, OmniDirect capability would be, uh, you can actually go, I'll show you the dimming capabilities, customizations. Right. So there's a the speed. So right now it's at one time speed show. You're like, I like this color. Let me speed that show up. Oh, wow. Let's see what it's like. 
And it goes as fast as 16 times. 16 times faster. You know, like, you know what? I don't know. That's, that's a little too bright there. Let me dim it down a little. Maybe that spa is too bright there. Right. Go there and you can check that instantly. Dim that light now. That's so, amazing. It is. So we have, to be specific, seven color shows. Right. And we go back and we have 20 fixed colors. Everything from cloud white to uh warm white to yeah. crisp white to pure white so there's so many customers go i don't like that white i like this white i like this white i like so, this so we included it that is, that is a huge because a lot of the uh homeowners want different color plasters and you get so different many hues depending on the lighting mm -hmm. and that reflects and that's going to make your plaster look good exactly and a lot of people yeah. i explain to them if you put more lights you have a better pool just the way it is because a lot of people forget nights and yep. at night is when i think water it comes alive. takes another another turn and it really really brings out the livelihood of the plaster it truly and the does finishes. it truly does what's also good about the half inch lights you can put those in half inch conduit wet or dry so you have that center tree as a focal point in that backyard that tree is lit up now to match your pool to so can you explain dry. a little bit more that let me hold on for a second because you said wet and dry exactly so the same light that it's approved to be underwater you can actually put it outside of the water absolutely our 80s our 80s which is a half inch conduit about a two inch plug light right you would fit that into a conduit and you can use that wet or dry that's awesome it is it is yeah thank you well thanks for showing the uh, the omni logic absolutely a new voice in the industry a resource for all, education for you. This is Pool Pro Podcast. Build relationships and share important news as we get ready for our next backyard adventure. Pool Pro Podcast, backyard adventures are better together. Please take a moment to share, like, and review our content with all of those that would be interested.